the sun has decided to come out for a little bit today, so I thought I'd spend a little bit of time outside. It's a little bit breezy. Might be getting some more storms coming through, but uh, I wanted to go take a look and check on my blackberries. tractor has the PTO will pop out of gear so we've got this bungee cord that we use to just hold it in place keep it from popping out every once in a while Got lots of pretty blackberry blooms. These are going to be our second year shoots, so we should have a pretty good blackberry yield. We um, these fields used to be covered completely, like completely all in blackberries. Uh, so much so that you could not get through anything. You could barely. Uh, barely even see over it at times and uh, we hired a guy to come in with his enclosed cab tractor and big old 10 foot bush hog and clear everything out he said that it was the worst thickest blackberry brambles that he had ever seen um, so he went and cleared it all out and then uh, and when I started bush hogging, I decided to see if maybe we could just let a few rows grow up so that maybe we could have a better, easier harvest of blackberries. We love our, love our blackberries. More, uh, a lot more buds than I was expecting, actually. So hopefully we'll have a pretty good results out of this. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, 
six rows and then I just let a big patch grow up over there and then I've got some more up the hill that are just kind of growing so what I want to do is I want to go ahead and clear out in between the rows that way things don't start to grow back up and take over again so we'll hop back up on the tractor and get this knocked out real quick before dinner I've learned driving an old tractor like this learned a long time ago is uh, always keep your thumbs on the outside of the steering wheel keep them on the inside and the wheel catches something like a stump that you don't see or a dead tree or a rock or a hole that cranks the wheel that direction it'll it'll catch your thumb real hard break it dislocate it so just make sure you're keeping your thumbs on the outside of the wheel driving it <laughs> today got to get back down to the house and get cleaned up for dinner uh, but I got all the rows cleared out in between the uh, blackberry bushes and we'll be able to get up and down in between there and, and pick them as they come in fairly easily so looking forward to that looking forward to some good blackberry cobbler and blackberry jam and all kinds of good fun treats that we can make this uh, this summer with uh, our wild blackberries all right well let's head on back down to the house and I'll see you on the next video.